Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the absolute best case for your Skywatcher Star Adventure that I think fits the job perfectly and we're talking about the case that I have right here. It's pretty heavy but it's also awesome, so let's get started. Okay, so normally if you go online and you buy the Skywatcher Star Adventure in the Pro version pack, you basically get in the mail a box that looks like this. It's nicely packed, everything is inside. It's the main unit, the base, the declination bracket, uh, the counterweight, the shaft, and also the wide angle attachment. Everything is right here, nicely packed. There is a foam inside this box and there are cutouts for every single part of this kit that fit here perfectly, it doesn't bang around during shipping or anything like this. And I was thinking, hmm, it's a nice way to actually transport the adventure out in the field. But unfortunately, you know, I don't want to lug around the whole box because it's made of carton, it's pretty, you know, susceptible to things like humidity, dust can go inside through these cracks and everything. And it's also not very hard, you know, if something in the trunk of my car falls on top of this box, it can bend it and it can potentially damage something that is inside. So I was looking for a case that is very rugged, I could take it out into the field, but it also could fit potentially all of those components nicely packed in a way that they don't bang around inside. And I have heard about this company called Peli. They are making those very popular cases called the Pelican case. And I recalled some popular YouTubers, like for instance, Peter McKinnon saying that they carry around all their expensive equipment in those so-called Pelican cases. So I looked it up online and it turns out that Pelican cases are a very popular brand and they make world-class cases for expensive equipment that needs to be transported or used in environments that are not very gentle. For instance, think about construction sites, think about the equipment, like sensitive equipment to measure stuff. You need to bring it to the construction site. It is dusty, you know, rocks can fall onto it, etc. And those Pelican cases are made to last and they're made to keep the contents of the case extremely safe. So I figured out, hmm, maybe it could be a perfect fit for the Star Adventure. And what I really wanted to do I wanted to make use of the foam that is inside this case. I wanted to place the whole foam inside a case and make it fit perfectly so it doesn't bang around inside and also would fit every part of this kit perfectly in this case in its own place. So let me show you the case that I got and let's open it up and let me show you the inside of this case, how nicely it packs everything. So the case looks like this, it's the Peli Air series, basically the Peli Air is kind of a fairly new line of their products and it is designed to be lightweight, they are claiming that the Peli Air cases are up to 40% lighter than the Peli Classic cases because they are meant to be transported in airplanes so they need to be light in order for you as a customer so not to be charged for overweight uh, excessively if you carry this on an airplane. So the Peli Air, I can definitely recommend them. What I got is the Peli Air model 1525. I don't know if you can see that, you should be able to see that. 1525 and basically they have a lot of different models and a lot of different cases, different lengths, different depths, different widths in order to accommodate for different needs. I saw a lot of people, well actually I saw it on their website that people transport like rifles inside those, maybe medical equipment, but also drones and photography gear and also telescopes and things like this. Basically everything that is gentle and needs to be handled with care but you want to transport it into places. And the case like this is very suitable to be used in such environments. For instance, on an airplane, in a taxi, on a boat, you can even throw it out of the boat because guess what? This case is actually fully waterproof. It's not only humid proof, which I wanted, and dust proof, it is fully waterproof and it floats on water up to a um, certain amount of load inside, but definitely, if you have some kit inside, it can actually float on water. So if you keep your gear in the basement and it is locked off in a case like this, and it is actually my use case, I keep my gear in the basement and I was a little bit afraid of the humidity inside the basement. So if I have my gear inside a case, I am absolutely humid proof and waterproof. And even if I have a flood, God forbid, the case will just float on water. I can go out, find it, collect it, and the gear inside will be absolutely safe. All right, let's open it up. All right. It's pretty loud if you open it up. It opens up, there's this nice little foam that keeps everything from banging around sort of vertically in the case. And the case inside pretty much looks like this. So as you can see, 
I have the exact foam of the adventure, this entire rectangle, this is the foam that I took out from the box of the Star Adventurer and everything is inside it. The declination bracket, the main unit, the base, everything is right here. And there's also a little bit of room left here. I am keeping here my telephoto lens, the Canon EF70-300. This is the lens that I use for deep sky astrophotography. So if I go out into the field to take some cool shots, I pretty much have everything inside the adventure and also the telephoto lens, which I use for my deep sky astrophotography. And as you can see right here, the box is filled with this, they call it pick and pluck foam. It's basically a foam made of these little squares that you can pick and pluck as you want. And you can pretty much create any shape that you want inside the case in order to accommodate for your equipment. So if it's a lens, it would be shaped like this. It could be a microphone. It could be, um, for instance, for a gimbal, a telescope, a camera, whatever. And what I figured out is that I could actually take out an entire rectangle out of those little components of this pick and plug foam. This is exactly what I did and jam inside the foam that is already cut in order to accommodate for the different parts of the adventure. So everything fits here nice and tidy. I can just close it up and it works perfectly. I can go into the field, I can lay it on the ground, uh, on a wet ground in grass, because if it's the night, usually there is some kind of dew on the grass already, even in summer, so I can lay it on the ground. I don't have to be worried about any water coming inside. I can even sit on it, it's that hard. It's so rugged, you can sit on it. You can definitely place your laptop on top of it in order to do the auto guiding. You can place your camera on top of it in order to change lenses and stuff. It really is pretty much multifunctional. Also, I personally think that this case is a very good investment because you can actually take out all of the foam inside it. You can order a new foam without the case so you can replace it. And you can basically use the same case in order to carry different kinds of equipment. For instance, if you go to do some filmmaking, you can use this case to carry around the gimbal, some lenses, a camera, etc. Then in the night, if you go out to do some astrophotography, you can take out the foam, bring out this one with the Star Adventure, and basically you can use the same exact case with different foams inside in order to carry different kinds of equipment. So I think the case like this is really an investment that will last you for years and you can use it for different kinds of gear. I can highly recommend that. And like I said, it is pretty lightweight, so you can definitely travel with it. It even has this valve. It's a, it's a pressure valve right here and basically this pressure valve makes sure that if you have this case in an airplane and you are traveling in high altitudes it will let out some air from the inside because the inside is sealed off it will let out the air in order to equalize the pressure but it will not let anything inside so everything inside is safe and honestly this case is so rugged that I think the only thing that can damage the contents of the case are g-forces so if you throw it out of the plane and it lands on concrete it will probably break the stuff inside because of the g-forces but the case itself is so incredibly rugged it can definitely take a beating you can strap it onto your motorcycle and you don't have to be worried if it falls out probably the contents will be fine again if the g-forces don't damage the inside as you can see there are also these holes right here there's one and there is two and they are designed to house uh, padlocks so you can get a TSA approved padlocks if you order that from and a distributor and by the way I will have some links in the description down below if you want to pick up this case and also the, the adventure if you if you didn't, don't have it already so you can check out the links down below I also have the camera lenses listed like all of the equipment that I use so check those links maybe you can find something interesting to you and also like I said in the beginning there are a lot of different variants of this case because this case is not exactly cheap I don't want to say the price right now because the prices tend to fluctuate so Definitely check out those links in order to find out the price. The, this model that I have right here is 1525, like I mentioned, but there are a lot of other models. There's actually a smaller case that will fit the foam, the filling of the Star Adventure Pro Pack box. So you can pick up a smaller one, but I deliberately wanted a slightly bigger one because, because like I said, I wanted to fit in my lens here. And ultimately, if I buy an auto guider and the guide scope, I want to be able to fit in the guide scope right here uh, in the side of the adventure. So I have everything in one case. The only real downside of having the foam from the adventure box inside to transport it is the fact that as you can see, the base of the adventure is tucked in this position. If I take it out, as you can see, the only way it goes in is if this 
base is actually leveled. So if you go out into the chute, you probably don't have this leveled out like this. You probably need to tilt it upwards in order to properly polar align the adventure. And by the way, if you haven't seen that already, I have a full video tutorial about how to properly set up and polar align the Skywatcher Star Adventure. So if you haven't seen this video, I will put a link to it by the end of the video on the end screen, so make sure to stick around. But basically on the most of the latitudes, you will probably have it tilted upwards, something like this, in order to point it at the north or south celestial pole and if you want to place it in the box in this position it won't fit because the cutout in the box is very small and you can only fit it in if it's in that position so that means that you would have to adjust your elevation each time you go out for a shoot and if you are shooting from the same location you could just do it once and keep it like this but I think there is a very easy workaround all I have to do is basically just take this foam and pretty much just take my knife and cut out a little bit more right here so I can put it inside even if it's tilted upwards. So I think that's really not a big deal. And I really love how everything sits here in its own place. It doesn't bang around. I am 100% sure that my gear is safe in a case like the Pelican Air 1525. All right, that's basically all I have for you for this video. Comment down below, what do you think about this case? Do you have a similar case for a Star Adventure? Do you carry it around in a box? Do you try to cram it into a backpack? I tried to cram it into my backpack and it was so heavy. I was really worried about my backpack being torn because of the weight of the adventure, because the adventure itself is pretty heavy. So I would definitely advise having some kind of a rugged and hefty case in order to carry it around. So comment down below, what do you think about the Pelican case for the Star Adventure? And also leave a like down below, I would really appreciate that. And also consider subscribing to the channel. Like I said, I already have a couple of videos about the Star Adventure and also other astrophotography related tutorials and also tutorials about photography in general, filmmaking as well. I basically cover everything that is related to the things you can do with your camera. So make sure to check out my channel and subscribe for future videos. But right now, like I said, if you haven't seen it already, check out my full polar alignment video about the Star Adventure right here. And also you can check the video right here in order to find out how to point your camera at interesting stuff in the night sky. And also subscribe here for future videos. Like I mentioned, see you next time, clear skies and bye-bye.